Monopoly the Ride is the lone roller coaster at Hasbro City, and it's a weird one. For one, it is a suspended powered coaster that feels like a high speed monorail. Two, it is themed to a board game. But does this ride use the IP well? Find out in this review. iMagic Park opened just outside of Mexico City in 2018. This was an indoor theme park at the Paseo Interlomas shopping mall. Dax the Ride was the most notable attraction. This was a vegan V-Flyer. Only a few of these have been built worldwide, with the most notable installation being Hummel Brummel at Schwaben Park. This model is a suspended powered coaster. It feels like a variant on a bob cart. Riders have a lever to control their speed. The speed lever worked in Hummel Brummel when I rode it a few years ago. This feature has been disabled in the version in Mexico though. Dax the Ride and iMagic Park as a whole closed in 2021. Both reopened in 2023 completely rebranded. The park was transformed into Hasbro City. All the pre-existing rides were rethemed to different Hasbro IPs. Dax the Ride was turned into Monopoly the Ride. It was an odd choice to theme a coaster to a board game about money and corporations, but that's what they did. Now, none of the layout has anything to do with Monopoly. It is mostly an aerial tour of the park, but it is a great aerial tour. Then the finale actually pops out of the building and stares at the street down below. While the visuals are cool, there's absolutely no theming to see along the route. Now the pre-boarding experience is a different story though. You have a grand entrance just off of Main Street. The facade is designed to look like a skyscraper. Then you enter an ornate hallway and proceed up a large staircase. You then have a windy path past a series of iconic images from Monopoly. The first room is deliberately dark. It features an illuminated go to jail sign on the wall, right next to metal bars like a cell. The other side is a giant spout of water for the waterworks with some LED effects to simulate flowing water. You then continue down a hallway past some paintings of the Scottish Terrier, aka the game's most beloved token. The next room is a giant bank vault extending all the way up to the ceiling. You then have another long staircase bringing you up to another level. There, you will find loose article cubbies underneath a free parking sign, which is a brilliant touch. Then the end of the queue lies lightly themed as a train station to reference the game's four railroads. And the station is designed to have you pass go, and there are a series of illuminated red archways. These were retained from the old ride. Most rides at Hasbro City comically overestimate how long a queue line may last with these stickers on the floor. Nearly every ride is a diminutive queue line that couldn't hold more than maybe 15 minutes worth of people, yet they have stickers saying it could take up to an hour. Monopoly's queue is different. This one very easily could take over an hour if it were completely full. Fortunately, it was no more than a 10 minute wait the day I visited. While the individual ride vehicles are small and only hold a max of two riders, they do own six vehicles at least. Four to five were in use the day I visited to keep the line moving at a slow, but steady pace. Riders are restrained by an overhead lap bar. There's a thick portion over your lap and wide bars off to the side to hold onto. The seats are ultimately comfortable. One operational knows that this ride can still run in the rain, even with the finale going outdoors. I was worried it may have to close because powered coasters can sometimes be a bit finicky in these conditions. Once dispatched, you slowly move forwards. Then you'll suddenly accelerate. It feels sort of like a weak launch. You start with a right hand turn in a dark room. You then have an S bend high above the entry plaza. The side to side motion induces a little bit of swinging. You then pass over, at this time at least, another dark room. But that's just because it's currently a construction site. This will be the home to the nerf area in the near future. You then have a big turn taking you past the Equestria and Cybertron areas. You get a bit of swing, but the visuals are the star. You pass directly over other attractions in the midways. You then have an S bend that gets pretty close to some buildings, especially because your car will sway. It's the best swaying on the ride in my opinion. You then have a small climb upwards that will slow the car a bit. You then narrowly dodge a few buildings and head outdoors for the finale. There, you'll have a large turn above the street, and it's a pretty shocking moment. 
while Monopoly clings to the ceiling and is elevated for much of the ride, you're only maybe about 30 feet above the midway for most of it, but now you're several stories above the road. You slow down towards the end of this and you creep back into the building for the unload platform. You then disembark, ending the 873 foot or 266 meter long coaster. The ride only has a top speed of 19 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. That is barely faster than most kiddie coasters. But this ride's pacing feels noticeably better as you get a brisk bird's eye view tour of the park. Although, I would argue it maybe would be better as a slower monorail, so you had more time to take the sights in. So, what would I rate Monopoly the ride? I would give this coaster a 5 out of 10. This is a decent experience. I love the theming and the queue line, and the sights are cool. As a coaster, it is not the most thrilling attraction. You only get a little bit of swinging, but it does feel a bit faster than the posted top speed but the visuals are the main thing this coaster does well. I sort of wish the ride went through the layout slower, which is a weird thing for a coaster enthusiast to say, but I think that would have been better to lean into this ride's strengths. Still, it's a fun experience. So those are my thoughts on Monopoly the Ride at Hasbro City. What are your thoughts on this coaster? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.